Uh, I'm speaking to you now from the heart of London's West End, where um, only last Tuesday they saw the opening of the very latest addition to the night <laughs> of London, the Fun Boy Club. And here with me is the man behind it all, uh, Fred Scuttle. Good evening, sir. Good evening, all you jet set swingers. <laughs> and welcome to Scuttle's exclusive play fun, fun Boy Club. Uh, Exclusive? Yes, it's exclusive, sir. Yes, yes. Well, tell me, what are the incumbent qualities pertinent to this exclusivity? I beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> what have I got to have before I can join? Thirty bob. <laughs> you see, we want to keep the riff raff out. You see, yeah. sir. because I intend becoming the Hugh Hefner of Hounslow. <laughs> are you going to emulate all his bunny girls? Well, not all of them, sir. <laughs> not with my back, oh! Because you know, if I get excited, you'll be back, you! Oh, I went then, so I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. What I actually meant was, yes, I mean, yes. are all your girls going to be dressed as bunnies? No, sir. Teddy bears. Teddy bears? Very tasteful, sir. Yes, it's all sort of little bodies. It's sort of like a religious dress, sir. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> and it's very and it's deep cut there and high on there with a long suspender belt. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're dribbling, oh. sir. <laughs> Very tasteful, sir. Uh, what do these teddy bears have to do? Uh, they, they welcome the male guests, you see, sir. Oh, I see, they yes. go out to one a little teddy bear. A little teddy bear will go to the taxi door, open the taxi door, and follow him at a discreet distance into yes. the club, you see, sir. So no man ever feels he's entering the club on his own. Never? Never, sir. I've never seen a man come in here without a bear behind, sir. <laughs> it's a tradition, you see, since last Tuesday. <laughs> Tell me, how many of these lovely, delightful teddy bears do you have? Uh, at the moment, just the two, sir. Two? The wife and her mother. <laughs> But we are open to expand. Your mother-in-law. I'm not going to expand my mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're picking up with it. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, the the fellas love her. The punters love their mother-in-law. Yes, yeah, she knows all the latest cocktails. Oh, I see. She tells them, she sells them <laughs> in, in the bar, sir. Oh, <laughs> you see? Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, yes, oh. oh. That was a minute. No, sir, you see, I mean, you can have a vermouth with a cherry in it, sir, a yes. martini with an olive in it. Yes. If you like, you have a pint with a pickled onion in it, sir. <laughs> but in the bar, anything goes, yes, sir. Yes. She gives them complete blancmange. Yes. Yes. Absolute charabang in there, sir. <laughs> Could I get Cuba Libre in there? As a newt. <laughs> What I meant was, could I have something tall and cold with a lot of rum in it? Ah, uh, we never let the wife go in the bar. <laughs> she doesn't go in, not since the accident. She had one knocked over. The, but she does the catering, you know, sir. She mm -hmm. does. Yes, yeah, she makes little sausage rolls, sir, you know. <laughs> with her own hands? No, she uses chipolata. <laughs> we do have a restaurant, sir. <laughs> we have a really, it's very continental cuisine, sir. What we call a la commode. <laughs> yes, sir. Is it uh, topless? Ah, yeah, well, it was, yes, but we had, they were up after the lead, you see, sir. And they were finishing their soup six times, some of them, because of the leak. And it wasn't leak soup. <laughs> yes. No, no, what I actually meant was, I mean, are your um, waitresses uh, topless? Oh, no, sir. Oh, we wouldn't have anything like that in here, sir. No. Well, I mean, these girls are topless, so they've got to serve a full meal, sir. Hot things and... and they've got to lean across tables. <laughs> I mean, you can ask a girl to take her thumb out your soup. <laughs> Not only that, sir, some of the punters that come in here are servicemen, you see, sir. Oh, I see. And they like to dance with the girl. Yes. And yes. some of these servicemen have got medals. <laughs> and you can reckon on any week there's bound to be one flag day. <laughs> it's all right for the lifeboat men, but what about the poor girl that hoo 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 right all the time, you see, sir? I understand there are already 500 topless waitresses in London. I think that's a thousand pities, sir. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> no, don't think about it. I honestly do, sir. Yeah. I'll be perfectly frank with you, sir, and I know you won't mind that. I'll, well, I'll be honest if you prefer. The thing is, <laughs> the thing is, you see, sir, we did ask one of the girls to go out and serve a meal stripped to the waist. Oh. Well, I meant stripped down to the waist, you see, sir. She misunderstood. Up to the waist. <laughs> it was a novelty. And then as she was going out, they were saying, that reminds me, you got any hot cross buns? <laughs> But really, sir, they come in for the food. The food's are mm, impeccable. I just said peckable myself. <laughs> Look, I mean, for your starters, sir, for example, sir. I mean, you could have asparagus and grass soup, sir. You could have a patty de false grass. <laughs> Avocado. Have two cardos, if you like. <laughs> then the main meal, then for your afters. Your sweet. Thank you, sir. For your afters. <laughs> <clears throat> sir? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about you television people. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> in his uh, I mean, we give them after we give them a little bowl with all the little pastry thing you think. Oh, put it for. We put it half a dozen for. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes, I, I understand, uh, Mr. Um, Scarfield, that you're shortly to publish a fun boy magazine. Oh, that will be oh. real. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that will be real race. <laughs> oh, the fellows that go potty over that, they will. <laughs> you. Might one say that this will be for the playboy to read in his Mayfair penthouse? Mightn't one? <laughs> <laughs> one might say that, isn't it? Especially if one wanted another one. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, the oh, it's all swinging, sir. It'll be all be happening, sir. Yes. Uh, how will this differ from the plethora? I haven't read the plethora. <laughs> men only, I know a plethora. I don't know that one. No, no, I meant the plethora of men's magazines. Oh, but... sir, we will be star studied. Oh, yes. We start off with an advice column, sir. Oh, well, what to do for the love lawn? What to do on the love lawn? <laughs> <laughs> it's by Edgar Lustgarden. <laughs> Then, of course, the wench of the week. A wench of the week? Peggy Mount, as you have always dreamt of her. <laughs> Thora Heard, more daring than ever. <laughs> Kathleen Harrison, photographed on her birthday, wearing a suit suitable for the occasion. We never commit ourselves, you see, because of the Lord Longford lot, you know. After... <laughs> Sandy Shaw, Sandy Shaw barefoot, all over. <laughs> Kathy Kirby in 3D, that will knock their eyes out. <laughs> and for the ladies, Edward Heath, full frontal, sitting on his dinghy. <laughs> In the channel. In his bar. <laughs> oh, it's that. 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 Oh,